Hey guys, welcome to my Kelly Moore DSLR messenger bag review. Um, as you can see, it is fairly large size. That's a really nice looking bag and it's made to fit all your DSLR gear into it. Now, as you could probably tell, it looks very uh, loaded up, which it is. I loaded it uh, not to the max, but almost to the max, just so you guys can see what you can put inside this bag. Now, first off, just so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, this bag is targeted for somebody who wants a bag that looks uh, stylish. It looks higher end and it looks nice, not uh, like a black nylon type bag. So let's go ahead and go into uh, what is inside this bag. And I'm going to take this jacket off because it is actually really warm inside my room right now. So let's do that and see what's in this bag. So in the front here you have these two clasps that you can uh, press down and they open up so it keeps the top secure. Uh, and it also looks very nice, so we can throw this back here. Now, uh, first off, there is a little pocket right here towards the front of it. And if you open that up, I have a little card pouch inside here with some cards. And then um, a feature of this bag is uh, this card holder that's built into the bag itself. So you open it up. And here I have eight SD cards, and I think you can actually fit compact flash cards in here as well. So I'm gonna keep those in here, I'm not gonna pull those out. So that's the first pocket. So what do I have in the second pocket? This pocket here, I have two Nikon D7100 batteries. That's in the front little section. I'll, I'll go ahead and open up this uh, pocket. I have um, adapter Nikon to micro four thirds, multi tool, and I have my thick wallet that has a bunch of stuff in there. Next pocket over in the front, I have four AA batteries. Now I actually could have probably fit, I don't know, 12, 16 in there, no problem without them falling out. And if I open up the pocket, and here I have so I have eight Panasonic GH3 slash GH4 batteries. Now that pretty much maxes out the pocket. Um, you could still fit more, but that actually came up just to the zip right there. So it holds a ton of room. What do I have actually inside the bag? So First off, completely assembled Nikon uh, D7100 with the Sigma 18 to 35 lens and the lens hood attached. Full body, ready to shoot. It will focus. Lens cap, duh. So there you go. <laughs> There's the first. Next, I have Panasonic GH4 with a speed booster and uh, 85 1.4 attached to it with the lens hood attached as well and uh, the Benro plate at the bottom all attached slides right in there's my second body then I have another broken on 85 1.4 with the lens hood on backwards next I have Nikon uh, 50 1.8 with the lens hood also attached backwards Next, I have Tamron um, 17 to 50 2.8 zoom lens, also with the lens attached forwards this time. Next, I have the Tackstar uh, shotgun powered microphone, completely assembled on here. Next, I have my Rode VideoMic Pro all set up as well. I also have the Tascam DR40 um, recorder as well, right here. And I also have XLR cables, XLR splitters, and a quarter to an eighth inch jack adapter. And I don't have anything in this pocket right here. I didn't put anything in there. 
In the back pocket here, I have my uh, Moo.com card, business card holder, along with my nice Moo Deluxe business cards. Fit perfectly in that pocket. And then last but not least, in the back, I have an iPad. So that is a lot of stuff right there. Now I didn't max out the bag. It was really full. It definitely had some weight to it, but I could still fit some more stuff in the front here. I could fit some more in here. This pocket was about halfway uh, full. I could definitely slide something in here, some documents. Um, I think the iPad might actually fit in here. There you go. I could have had the iPad in there. Uh, I had the iPad actually in this back pocket here. You can probably throw in a 13 inch MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, I'm sorry, into there. Anyway, so the point I'm trying to make here is this bag uh, is larger size and as you can see, it could fit a ton of stuff. It took me a while to uh, find a bag that I was gonna like that wasn't extremely expensive, but it looked nice, it looked like it was expensive and uh, that could fit all this different stuff in there. Now, like I said, I usually wouldn't have a D7100 in here. I'd have another GH4, but that's the one I'm using to record right now with the wide angle lens. So that's all the stuff you can fit. Uh, let's go ahead and look at some of the pockets in the bag. I'll, sh I'll show you guys that. All right, so we can start up with the front here. You have the nice Kelly Moore logo. See all the nice stitching detail and the clasp holds on very nice, but it's also easy to move at the same time. And now that I have the front taken off, you see there's two big compartments with zippers and they hold quite a bit of uh, stuff in there. And you also have these little compartments in the front that don't have zippers. And you see my hand coming in there, you can fit quite a bit. And you also have this top zipper right here, as you saw me put the iPad in there. And so this will work good for an iPad or any documents, other more flat things that you may have. And on the side here, we have the SD or the compact flash card holders, and there's eight different slots. So you can uh, keep your cards there and you can access them pretty quickly. Now on the inside, there's this laptop divider that you can pull out completely if you'd like. And you also have these three other dividers. Now there is a ton of Velcro everywhere on uh, this bag on the bottom, on the side. So you can adjust it however you would like. And this is the tag for the Thirst Relief, which is the name of this bag. So it says a portion of the proceeds from this purchase of this bag has prov provided a lifetime of clean drinking water for up to four people. So you're getting a bag and you're supporting a good cause as well. Just a little detail shot of the nice stitching you see here on the leather and the shot of the uh, top handle that's also leather right up there. And here is the other side where I had my uh, business card holders. Now I didn't put it in all the way just so I can pull it out easier. But as you can see here, if you do want to drop it in um, all the way in, it will completely go inside. And on the back here, this is where I had the iPad initially. It's a large compartment. You can fit a, a 13 inch uh, laptop in there and it's magnetic. So a little detail shots of the strap. Now the strap is really good quality. I was pleasantly surprised and all the brass hardware um, is really nice quality as well. So you have the pad up top with the Kelly Moore logo and that's also on Velcro so you can uh, take it off if you'd like or adjust it, flip it around, uh, set it up however you'd like. And a little bit of details of uh, the brass hardware there. Everything's metal, nice quality and it's also very easy uh, to remove and to put back if you need to uh, take that strap off. And uh, it also has this little uh, spinning section so uh, you don't get the strap kind of tangled up if you're moving it around. Okay, so this is my probably 30th or more take on the ending, so I'm just gonna go for it and if there's some mess ups, that's okay because I can't do any more. Um, so as you guys probably guessed, I definitely recommend this bag. Uh, the build quality is very, very nice. All the materials are very good materials as you can feel it in your hands when you're uh, holding it, all the stitching, the strap, everything's uh, done really well. So if you do buy this bag, I'm sure it's gonna last you guys a long time. 
And uh, next, the bag holds a ton of stuff like you saw in the beginning. If you do need a bag that holds a lot, uh, this bag could definitely deliver. I'm usually not going to have that much stuff in it, but it's good to know that if I do need to shove all those items in, it could definitely uh, do the job. So third is the looks. Uh, the reason, one of the main reasons I got this bag over something else is uh, the looks. And I do want to make a very nice first impression. I want to do everything I can um, to make that first impression. And in this world, looks do matter quite a lot, especially if you want to make more money doing the jobs that you do, get higher end jobs, work with um, higher end clients as far as uh, the wedding industry goes, you do have to make that good first impression. So I definitely think this bag does have what it takes to, does have what it takes to deliver a better first impression compared to like a $30 cheap black nylon bag that I was using before. So I highly recommend, recommend this bag. And uh, you guys can check out a link in the description where you guys can uh, pick up this bag. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me. I will definitely help you and answer any questions you may have. So have a wonderful day, guys, and I will see you later.